Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pearls Kids. I know after a long time I am here in my channel and I know you guys must be surprised a bit but I am really sorry because I was stuck with some of my personal work and could not make any videos. But from now on I promise you all that I won't disappoint you anymore and make many interesting videos and post it for you guys. Today I am going to tell you an interesting story about a mongoose who was very clever and the title of the story is Marty Mongoose. So let's begin. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. In the rainforest, next to a wide river, there grew a great banyan tree. This tree was very old and provided a home for many animals living in the forest. Henrietta Heron had a beautiful nest high atop the banyan tree. Carl the crayfish lived in the tangled roots that entered the river at the water's edge. Sam the black snake had made his home under the great trunk of the tree. Marty Mongoose lived nearby. His home wasn't actually in the banyan tree but close enough where the tree offered a cooling shade during the hot days. Do you all want to know how Henrietta, Carl, Sam and Marty live within the great banyan tree? Okay, so let me tell you. Henrietta Heron had built her nest by the river so that she will be close to the food she usually ate. She loved to eat fish, frogs, crayfish and even snails. She had a great home. Now, Carl the crayfish lived within the rocks and roots of the tree. Carl was really a clever one. He would eat the pieces of food dropped by other animals and his home offered protection from animals that might snack on him. Sam the black snake made his home under the great banyan tree as it was close to many things he liked to eat. Sam loved to eat bird eggs but did not hesitate to eat anything he could catch except maybe the whole crayfish as they were very hard to swallow. Do you want to know what Marty Mongoose liked to eat? Well, if you said snakes, then you are absolutely correct. Marty liked to eat snakes of all types and sizes. One day, Henrietta was out looking for food. When she returned to her nest, she found that two of her eggs were gone. Oh, how sad she was! Something had gotten into her nest and eaten two of her precious eggs. She flew back down to the river so no other birds would see her crying. Then she met Marty and said to him, Sam must have slithered into my nest and eaten two of my eggs. That is a shame, Marty replied in a sad voice. Oh, what can I do? Henrietta asked. Now, Marty knew that Henrietta and the other herons liked to eat crayfish and if there were an easy meal to be had, he was very interested. So, you would like to get rid of that bothersome snake? He asked. Oh yes, Henrietta shied. I wish something would eat him. Henrietta, I can help you, Marty said excitedly. You and your heron friends need to catch all the fish and crayfish in the area. Break them into pieces and leave a trail of food from Sam's den to my home. 
he will be busy eating the food and he will not realize that he is close to me. He will be an easy meal for me and you will be rid of his egg stealing ways. Henrietta thought for a minute, smiled and then flew off to talk with the other herons. Soon the herons had captured all the fish, crayfish, even poor Carl and made the trail of food between the snake's den and the home of the mongoose. Then they returned to their nests to watch. As Sam slithered out of his den, he was surprised to see all the fresh snacks just lying on the ground. Yummy! Yummy! He thought to himself as he began eating. It wasn't long before Sam had eaten his way to Marty's home. As Sam opened his mouth to eat the last snack, Marty jumped out of the bushes. Well, I don't have to tell you what happened because you all already know. But in case you don't, there was a big burp and Marty returned home. Did you see that? Henrietta asked the other herons. Now our eggs are safe. Several days passed. Marty was hungry but there were no snakes in the area. The other snakes see how Sam had been tricked. So they left to find a safer home. Marty looked into the river and realized that the herons had taken everything from it to set the trap. Then he looked into the great banyan tree and saw Henrietta. The other herons saw Marty climbing the tree. But it was too late. All they could do was leave their nest and like the snakes find a safer home. Now Marty was alone. There was no food in the area and no reason for him to stay in his nice home. The great banyan tree is now empty of all life. But there is a circle of life in the rainforest and it won't be long before new animals arrive at the banyan tree and call it home. Thank you everyone. If you like the story, please press the like button and let me know in the comment box what all videos you would like me to share. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos but for that do not forget to subscribe to my channel.